So main character who main desire has to fight up against this. Hey everybody, Alan Northern here, giving you filmmaking tips and tricks and post-college life advice. And today we're gonna answer two questions. What is a log line and how to create one? So back in the day, a log line was something that producers put on scripts in order for them to decide if they're gonna read it or not. A log line is a one to two sentence attention grabber for your film. So this will signal to your audience whether it's a story they're interested in or not. So your log line is gonna let your audience know what your film is about. And if the log line is doing its job correctly, then the audience should wanna hear more. A log line gives viewers an instant understanding of your story and what's at stake. The log line informs the audience of or gives them a sense of how complicated accomplishing their task is gonna be. It's also a useful tool to keep your screenwriting on track. I don't know what stage of the game you are. Hopefully you're before you're writing your screenplay because while you're writing your screenplay, going back to your log line can help redirect your story and help focus it on and hone it in on what your story is supposed to be about. But if you're after the process, your log line is your marketing tool. So you need that because that lets potential audience members know what your story is about and hopefully it gets them interested so they can press the buy button and purchase your film. So now we're gonna break down the essential elements that your log line must have. First thing you've gotta have in your log line is your main character, not their name, but describe them. Describe who they are in your story. Describe uh, potentially their occupation. I said occupation. <laughs> the occupation. A disgruntled old man who a teenage operative who, an optimistic young man who, a pessimistic young boy, a pacifist who, a disgruntled dentist who, those are a few examples of what to begin your log line with and how to identify your main character. The second thing that has to be in your log line is the goal of your main character, your goal that your character must accomplish by the end of the film. And when I'm referring to the goal of the main character, I mean their main desire, their internal desire, a sadistic dentist who attempts to get his life on track. And the next part of your log line has got to be the conflict. So in the beginning, you have your main character who is doing what, a main character who is doing this, main desire, his goal, but comes into conflict with this, which is your antagonistic force or your antagonist. So main character who main desire has to fight up against this. And that main desire or goal should tie into the central conflict of the story, which if you don't know what a central conflict is, Good news for you. I made a video on it, so you can <laughs> click it right now. Um, that'll act as a really good springboard for you to just go crazy. So I hope that makes some sense, but if that didn't, hit the like button because I'm going to go over a few examples to put it into action. According to the late Blake Snyder, your log line should have irony in it, or I like to think of it as um, that thing that makes it a lot more interesting because you're going to have a main character who's this way, who has to fight up against the thing that he just, <laughs> the thing that is just completely opposite to what he is actually, to what he stands for. But you'll see that in most big budget films, they don't really follow this rule because they got money and they can just throw, to make it rain and just sprinkle cash on it and just, you know, make as much money as they need to because they just have unlimited budget to just plaster ads everywhere and just eventually get you to watch it. But we indie filmmakers have to be a bit more strategic with our marketing tools. So irony is a great tool and I'm gonna give you a few examples of irony. A teenage operative who struggles to pull his family away from a life of violence is pitted against trained killers. So boom, there's your sense of irony. It's you're trying to pull your family away from violence yet you're being pitted against train killers. So it just goes to show that there's gonna be conflict on top of conflict there. And that's what people find interesting. It's like, okay, hmm, oh, he's trying to get his family away from violence, but he's pitted against train killers? Interesting. So someone wrote on IMDb a logline for Inception, a thief who steals corporate secrets through the use of dream sharing technology is given the inverse task of planting an idea into the mind of a CEO. This is one from Ride Along. A risk averse teacher plans on marrying his dream girl but must first accompany his overprotective future brother-in-law, a cop, on a ride along from hell. And here's the log line for Die Hard. 
A cop comes to LA to visit his estranged wife and her office building is taken over by terrorists. Here's a log line from Titanic. A 17-year-old aristocrat falls in love with a young, kind, but poor artist aboard a luxurious, ill-fated RMS Titanic. And this one is from The Sixth Sense. A boy who communicates with spirits seeks the help of a disheartened child psychologist. A Mumbai teenager reflects on his life after being accused of cheating on the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So yeah guys, please hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm and helps push my videos up. I hope that that answered what is a logline. If you're interested in learning what a central conflict is, I'll link it in the description below. Thanks a lot. If you liked it, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later guys. See ya.